Hi everybody. It's Crafty Jackie. I always sound out of breath when I start. I guess because I'm rummaging around getting stuff ready. <sighs> anyway. So. I went today for therapy. And I had to fill out some forms. To see if I'm to continue or whatever. But um, my foot is feeling much better. I want everybody to know that. And I go to the t on the 10th. So I'm hoping that he tells me the 10th. The 29th of January for him to tell me that uh, I will be kicking the boot. <laughs> but, and I hate to start out my things every time complaining, but this is my news of the of the day. Um, I went yesterday to find out the M, uh, MRI results on my knee, my left knee, which had been hurting as a result of me walking on this boot thing. And sure enough, I tore my meniscus. So now I have to have surgery on that stupid thing. So on January 2nd, I am having uh, the inner, it's the inner part of my left leg, kneecap or knee or whatever you want to call it, the meniscus. And he will repair the tear. And from what I understand, the, you know, I'll be able to walk on it within a day or two. I might I might even walk out that day. I'm supposed to bring a walker with me. So, although I know it's still going to hurt, hopefully it won't hurt for very long because right now it hurts really bad. I'm going to have Ron start massaging my knee and my calf at night so I can actually fall asleep. So, enough said on that. Ron's also been going to doctors. Uh... I don't know. It's just stupid. It's stupid because that's what happens when you retire. You just run around to doctors all the time, I guess. I don't know. But I went to the Dollar Tree the other day. I hopped along, hopped along with my boot on, and I did get a pretty good amount of stuff. So I went in there specifically for the DVDs that everybody was showing, and uh, they didn't have them, but I got some stuff that we needed, so I will start, as I always do, with everything everywhere. One, the, one of the first things I got was I finally broke down and bought some Tylenol, and these are the 500 milligrams, so I can take two of them every six hours. That's what my doctor for my knee said. So that's what I've been doing. Does it help much? Eh. Oh, uh, you'll have that. Um, I also got these. These are rich and crisp crackers. They're like the uh, Keebler's ones. Um, and I love these. I, first of all, I love crackers. I love to snack on crackers. But uh, I really love these. So, got a box of these. And to me, they're just as good as the Keebler's. So, why pay more money? Um, I even got a hanger here, folks. A free hanger. Free. Um, I bought this t-shirt. It's really big and long. I thought I could wear it for a night shirt. It's like a size extra large tall. So I thought I could sleep in it. We shall see. Um, I bought some milk. 1% because we were running. We had ran out. So I thought I'd have one on hand because we've been... Not going to the stores often for some. Lately we haven't. I got some a few makeup items. I'll put them in one little clump. Let's see. I bought another box of the 200 tissue. I'll be honest with you. I think they're great. Um, the Scotties or whatever for 160s are good. But these I really like better. They're thicker, and so when you blow your nose, you know what I'm saying. You don't get fallout. <laughs> I hate that. And I got a box of, I love these. My next favorite one is from Myers, their brand. But these saltines are so good. And, uh, again, I love crackers. Um, I got these for the dogs, and this is the reason I'm doing the haul, because the Doggies are fighting over one of these. And uh, also Bandit was looking a little 
annoyed that his spot in the corner was filled with bags. So I am doing this. These are just the rawhide retriever rolls, 100% natural. And uh, so, well, these are treated by irradiation too. Hmm. I wasn't getting the smoky ones because they said they were treated by irradiation. You would think that would not be good for dogs. So I'll have to do some research on that, which is going to really suck if it is. And I have to get, I'll have to buy, start buying some other kind because they really love these things. Um, I bought this. They had a bunch of artwork, most of which I either it wouldn't go with anything or, and so forth. But this I really loved because it looks like wallpaper. And what I thought I would do with it is put a couple of pictures in it and have this like as the background. You know, like photograph pictures. And these are the colors I have in my bedroom. So, that's why I got that. I was having about a three second crafty moment there at the store. And I said, hmm. Um, I bought these because we had cooked a 14 pound ham. And I wasn't sure I'd have enough of the bags. But I did buy... Hefty, the zipper bags, eight of them, gallon size. We go through a lot of bags. And these are the Sure Fresh, uh, I believe these are the quart size storage bags. A lot of these are good for if you're traveling. My granddaughter went away for a weekend and she went through a lot of the bags. And this is the Sure Fresh uh, um, gallon bags, and there's 15. Um, I needed some toilet bowl cleaner, and quite honestly, this is my favorite. Um, it smells good, and it clings to the thing. Not very big bottles, but you don't need a whole lot, so. Um, I found these. This is the first time I ever saw them. The things for your cups and stuff. I'm going to actually, hopefully, this will work on my phone. Because Ron and I keep picking up the same phones, because he thinks... Mine is his. We have the same um, cover. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, and then I bought... Oh, I forgot I bought these. I bought the Reese's... No, the Dove peanut butter eggs. And he and I each had one. But I bought these for myself because he doesn't like coconut. And it's dark chocolate and coconut. But excitement. I also went to Family Dollar today and um, I wish I had brought it in here before I started doing this. I got the most adorable uh, Valentine for Ron. It's got a, it's big and it's got a chihuahua on it. So cute. Um, craft wise, I bought another uh, Mod Podge. I don't know. I like the matte also. This is the glossy, but um, I wasn't sure how much I had, and we had used a bunch back in the summer. So since I'm working on a ATCs today, I thought I might need it. I also bought these um, crew socks for women, and they're full cushion, it says. Um, they don't have the netting. They're kind of thick. I bought them because they feel like they're looser at the top. And because I had the foot surgery, I'm having a lot of problems with my feet. My, that foot swelling. Yeah, these are a lot looser. So I thought if I wore these socks, like especially when I'm going to be out and have to wear my boot, that it might help my foot from swelling. I'll let you know on that one. Two pair for a dollar. What can you say? Alrighty. And then it was kind of interesting while I was in there. I ran into a lady who said she had an Etsy shop. She said she watched everybody's hauls. She, she, I didn't even think to ask her what name she used. But um, she said she did a lot of paper crafting and stuff. So if you're watching, hi, because I did give her my name. But I didn't get her name. And we started reaching for stickers, the same one. So that was, or you know, and that's when I started talking to her. Um, I got these. They're... Chamel, I never heard of that. 
And it says letter stickers, alphabet. Oh, letter stickers. Anyway, there's a bunch of words on the front. Sorry about the glare. And then in the back, it's all just little letters. And I thought these would be very, um, very good for my cards, my ATCs. Okay. Now I don't know if uh, I don't know if any of you do ATCs, um, but they're just a they're like the same size as a pocket letter card. And actually, when you make a pocket letter card, you could call it an ATC. You don't they're considered an artist trading card, and you just trade them with people, just one card. And uh, I think it's really cool. So, yeah. Um, the only movie I got, which is sad because I was really hoping to find a couple of uh, thing like seasons that of things that I like, but it's called Enough Said with Julia Lewis uh, Dreyfus and James Gandolfini. I don't know, but um, it says it's a beautiful movie. So. I get movies for us to watch in the summer because we don't have cable at our camper. I really didn't not buy a, a lot of stickers because I dragged up my Valentine's stickers alone and I have so much plus I'd already bought some. So, but I did buy these not because of Valentine's Day, but because I want to use these in like a album I'm going to make. A, I bought these albums that I was going to put pictures in them and this stuff of me and Ron. Uh, hopefully I'll get one the one I wanted to get done for our anniversary. Um, I bought another box of candy for our other uh, Deacon friends. So we each, I have one for each of them. Because they're really good chocolate. And I found these notebooks. I was surprised. I got the one with the hearts. Um, I liked it. So I got it. And I got some Twizzlers because Anna from Only in My Dreams, she had all kinds of Twizzlers. I did not see them, but I did see regular ones. And I then was craving them because she was showing them. So I bought the Toast and Pop-Ups and the Strawberry because we're always running out. Uh, and I barely have time to eat, so I just grab one and go. And I've been, I kept eating my uh, son-in-laws and I thought, well, I'll just grab some. Have them in here. I'm going to drink my coffee. Eat it in here. Here is being my bed. Um, somebody who bought these. Or no. Uh, Tracy B. was looking at them in the store. And I was all excited because I like we like them on, um, you know, like Italian beef and stuff. They're the banana peppers. I just bought one jar because we don't have Italian beef real often. But I knew we were out of them. Oh my, some more red licorice. This is really good. I don't know if anybody, if you guys have ever had it, but it's real good. I like it. And I found, I was all excited because I didn't have these before. They were out of them, but they put out more and I got a pair of the socks with the real soft red heart. So these I can, I think I told you in another video. Maybe not. Me and this guy at the uh, place I do my therapy, he wears real crazy socks. So we're having like a sock competition. These will not win for sure, but at least they're they're cool. Uh, I bought another one of these. They had one more. And uh, I love these little things. I actually almost bought some spoons and stuff too. I just, I'm hooked on little stuff. Um, I knew we were getting close to being out of dishwashing detergent, and I I love this one a lot, the blueberry. So I got it, and it oh yeah, almond milk and blueberry scent, and you get ten ounces. And like I said, I don't like big bottles. I like little bottles because I have small hands. And then I found finally, and I was all excited. I didn't even show Ron yet. Um, it has to be three or more players. But it's Family Feud Strikeout. Now, I don't know if it's a good game or not. But 
I don't know. It sounds like fun. So I got that. And then we'll oh, go to our makeup items. Alrighty. Oh, let me move my leg. Oh, this knee of mine is just a pain in the butt. Okay, I got the e.l.f. Pink Umbrellas Long Wearing Tinted Lip Color. I like these um, fat crayons. And I don't, I don't think my daughter has this one. I don't know. She keeps buying very odd colors. That would look odd on me because they're lighter. And my skin is darker, a lot, quite a bit darker than hers. I have more of my mother's coloring. All right, let's see. So we're going to go with this. Actually, it's pretty light. Huh. This is funny. Because <laughs> she had another one on. It smells like pencil lead. She said it doesn't taste bad, or when you put it on, you don't smell it, but it smells like she, because she brought it in, hers in, and she said, smell this. And uh, I said, it smells like pencil lead. Odd. That might be why it was at the Dollar Tree. But it's very creamy, and she said it does not smell like that when you have it on, so. I finally bought myself a... Uh, I needed some kind of liquid makeup because in the winter, I think it would be better if I put some liquid makeup on instead of powder. I know you're probably dying to see me in makeup, I hardly ever, but I got this color, said it was light. It has no smell. I have it on, you really can't tell. But it, it, Blunt, you know, because this is it covered that dark spot up pretty good, um, and it's very moisturizing. So I thought this would be good. It's a, a BB cream, Beauty Benefit cream, and it says it's very moisturizing. And I thought that would be good for winter, um, because my face is very dry. So I will give you a report on that someday. It also blurs the imperfections. So that's that's cool. I could use that. And last but not least, I bought these nails. I thought they were real pretty because I am going to put some nails on. I think I'm going to do it tomorrow uh, morning early or maybe tonight because we're going to go out to dinner with our friends tomorrow to the Chinese restaurant. So, yeah, I thought these were real pretty. So, that is my haul. Oh, wait, one more thing I want to show you. I got this from Wish, and it is the coolest thing. In fact, I just ordered two more today, one for another one for me and one for my daughter, Sarah. It's opened all the way up right now. Ooh. And they have different color, a bunch of different colors. This is the sides of it. And then this is it on the inside. The center pocket. It has two outer top pockets, like this. Um, um, on this side, it has two big pockets and four small pockets. And then on this side, it just has four big pockets. And you can snap it shut if you don't want it that big. Um, it has two little handles so that you can take it from one purse to another. But what Sarah and I both also said, we what we wanted them for, is you know those cute tote bags that they always have at the Dollar Tree? Um, or anywhere, you know, you can get one of them cute tote bags, stick this in, and you got yourself a purse, and it's secure. Your stuff is secure in there. So, um, yeah, for a dollar, and then I think it was two dollars shipping. Not bad. So that is my haul, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you a long time. Stay crafty, 
And when I get my ATCs all done, I'm going to make nine of them. I have three done. I will show them to you. And yeah, if you guys would like to see how to make one, let me know down below. And uh, I hope you have a good night. It's not. It's going to be in the 50s or close to 50 here again on Friday. I'm excited. So take care. Love you a long time. Oops. Should have turned you off first.